Time to bring in our Julie Foudy, who is in Tokyo covering the Olympics for us. Yay! So, Julie, we just heard Lindsay Horan talk about the disappointing loss against Sweden. So how do you expect mm -hmm. the U.S. to respond? With a, a lot of anger. <laughs> you can see it in, uh, in their responses and having talked to the players. I mean, that was... Linda, I have not seen the U.S. get bossed around like they did in that game for almost a full 90 minutes ever in watching the U.S. play. So they're going to be angry. They were embarrassed. They've said that. And clearly this is a team in New Zealand that's not as good as Sweden, but the mentality will be much different because they understand that this is three points they have to get. You know, Julie, I don't have to tell you. I mean, you lived it. But this team always has tons of pressure as the world number one. At what point does that take a toll on their mentality going into each and every game? You know, I, I don't think it does, honestly. I think that you learn when you play on the U.S. women's national team that that's part of it. I mean, and, and so much of that comes from internalizing that standard. It is in our DNA that every tournament we go into, we want to not just be on the podium, you want to be on top of the podium. And if you're not on top of the podium, it's considered a disappointment to us because our standard is gold. So I, I honestly don't think that is the pressure that gets to them. Um, and is, which is why I think losing in that first game, when it doesn't send you packing your bags, going home, like it did five years ago in the 2016 Olympics, cause it was a knockout stage is actually a gift because now it's a wake up call to go, Hey, there's more to be done. And this is a great reminder for this team that has had so much success, but little adversity. So I think it actually could be, could be a gift. Not surprised. A fantastic, inspirational message out of Julie Foudy right there. All right, finding the positive. What, let's talk, talk X's and O's. What does this team need to do to get the right result for them against New Zealand? Well, they're going to have to make some changes because they do want to, to look forward than game three against Australia, which is a better team to, than New Zealand. So I think they're going to rest some legs. I think you're going to see some changes. And um, they're thinking, look, we got that out of the way. We're going to play better. We're going to start with mentality, as you heard Lindsey Horan saying. We're going to start with grit and go back to the basics of what this team is. But on top of that, you layer in some more sophistication, holding the ball, being more compact defensively, being able to press defensively, all those things that were missing in the first game, but just being tidier. They weren't clean. They weren't technically clean. And so I think, again, you look back on that and go, okay, that happened, and we're going to learn and grow from this. And that is the way this team is wired. So I suspect you'll see a much different U.S. team in this game. Team USA still the betting favorites to win gold, but are they still the favorite in your eyes? No, no. I think that Swedish team, after seeing them for 90 minutes, we knew how good Sweden was, but to see them not just outmatch the United States physically, which a lot of teams don't do, tactically, technically, I mean, all areas of the game, that was a team in Sweden that was fit, that was fast, that was deep. It had the depth that the United States has, which has always been one of our strengths. I think right now it's safe to say that Sweden are the favorites, but boy, what a matchup that would be to go back to that game for the gold medal match. And that's what I'm hoping this U.S. team can do. That's our Julie Fowdy with the latest on the U.S. women's national team. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Linda. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.